I can't do this. I'm sorry. I'm rubbish. I give up. He set me off. Well, that lasted 0.2 seconds. Mmm, she's actually carrying pizza. Who the hell orders pizza under the name of Torchwood? Uh, yeah, that'd be me. Sorry, I'm a twat. Who are you? What is this place? <laughs> what was that? Pterodactyl. Now, hold on, if no one can see it when the lift's coming up, there's a bloody big hole in the floor. Don't people fall in? That is so Welsh. What is? I show you something fantastic. You find fault. He just... Came and went. <laughs> now that's how I'd like to go. I'm sure we could arrange it. We'll need a body from the cryo chamber, close match to the dead guy's appearance, disfigure the face, dump it someplace remote, make it look like a suicide attempt. You have a stash of bodies. Well, wow. You said she had a boyfriend. You people in your quaint little categories. We should really get her out of there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, come on. So what's he told you? What about himself? You've been here longer than I have. We were banking on you. But you're a copper. You're trained to ask questions. You don't know anything. Not who he is, not where he's from. Nothing. Except him being gay. No, he's not. Really, do you think? No. Owen does. I don't. And I don't care. Period military is not the dress code of a straight man. She's a walking aphrodisiac. I did wonder why I... Actually, I sort of snogged her. We, we know. Are you all right now? Or are you still feeling a bit of a cock? <laughs> Pressure increases on all the internal organs until... Ratya. Hallucinations? Dementia? I wasn't hallucinating, Owen. And I'm not bloody senile. You push this button and that caused this apparition moment? Yeah. Jack, no! Jack, he's not As if. This kid burning. Where does he live? Splot. Splot? I believe estate agents pronounce it splow. <laughs> okay, come on, Gwen! Telling yourself that, yeah? Losers. Bye. And what is that smell? That would be grass. It's disgusting. Oh, come on. And aliens aren't gonna bother hanging around out here. Probably some sort of weird suicide club with people choosing the same spot to end it all. Oh, God knows, if I had to spend too long up here, I'd want to top myself. Here you go. Careful. They're hot. Sure you don't want anything, Tosh? Really sure. A friend of mine caught hepatitis off a burger from one of these places. Looks as good a place as any to set up camp. Sorry, did you say camp? What's the matter with a hotel? People are going missing around here. Do you really want to stay in a place run by strangers? Oh, because sleeping outside is going to be a lot safer. No other race in the universe goes camping. Celebrate your own uniqueness. Oh, you're so light. You're like a girl. I'm not light. I'm wiry. Please stop. Anything to stop you singing. I don't know what you're laughing at. Stop singing. Please don't sing. Please don't sing. Not listening. What's going on? You know the skeleton we found at the building site. Well, Amanda Burton here has just completed the post-mortem. OK, I can explain. As you may remember, at the building site, Owen said this was a woman killed by a single gunshot. Yeah, I've been there like a minute. Since then, he's had to tweak some of his initial conclusions. The first being that this isn't, in fact, a woman, but a man. A young man. A very girly man. But still, ultimately, a man. Then there was the cause of death. Owen said GSW. <coughs> the correct answer was... Unidentified trauma, but... Unidentified trauma? Hmm. You see it in our tears. When something like a steering column or a post goes into a body at great velocity. But the one thing that could be ruled out was... Gunshot wound. Gunshot wound. Was there, in fact, any part of your prognosis that was right? I got that it was a... skeleton. Yes, oh. you did. You 
Yes, yes you did. Past the point Where did you train? Now. Where did you train? Did you train? Whoever this killer is, it's somebody we gave the amnesia pill to. Is he remembering that he's a serial killer? Or is he becoming a serial killer because of the retcon? Wait a minute, I've taken retcon. Then better stay away from sharp objects. Yanta, yeah, how many people have we given amnesia pills to? 2008. Hey, what if they all become psychotic? Do you have to sound so happy? Yeah, I'm just saying. Mainstreams. Help me with the body. You don't think I choose that ringtone? Hello? What about this guy? Someone's gonna break it to his wife that he's dead. And as they danced, the girls would look into their partner's eyes, smile softly, and say... Jack, mind my laptop. I was thinking more along the lines of... And how long before you head off to war? <laughs> Have you seen a blowfish driving a sports car? Thank you. Laddie Torchwood. Species not on record. DNA type says some sort of land fish. All I'm saying is you are speeded and there are children. Well, if kids are out at midnight, they've got it coming. Detecting high levels of oh, algae. Who's afraid of the big scary fish there? The big fish with a gun. Special weapons? Not that I can see. But we need special weapons. What are we going to do when we catch it? Jack would know. Yeah, well, Jack's not here, is he? Jack's disappeared. Fat lot of good Jack is. Unless you be making sushi. No, the mark will do fine, thank you. This is typical Jack, isn't he? He disappears, he comes back, then he runs away again. He shuts us out. We don't even know his real name. Oh, which time he comes exactly. from? Exactly. He's supposed to be our boss, and we know nothing about him. It drives me crazy. It's more fun when he's around, though. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it is. You've got a team. How sweet. Oh, pretty little friend. No, uh, blonde, though. You need blonde. God, he's worse than Jack. Oh, oh, do you have a team name? I love team names. Go on. Torchwood. Oh. Not Excalibur? Uh, Blizzard? Bikini Cops? No. Torchwood? Oh, dear. Gwen Cooper, Yanto Jones, Toshiko Sato, Owen Harper. Meet Captain John Hart. We go back. Excuse me, we more than go back. We were partners. In what way? In every way. And then some. It was two weeks. Except that two weeks was trapped in a time loop, so we were together for five years. It's like having a wife. You were the wife. You were the wife. No, you were the wife. Oh, but I was a good wife. I bet you were. What? Pretend you haven't noticed. It's cute. Weapons. Oh, you know me. I'm a two-weapon man. 
One pistol strapped to each leg, laser knife beneath the left elbow, 17 small explosive charges, and the lining of his coat. Slip of mine. I think I'm starting to see what he likes about this place. She's beautiful. She's stunning. Don't you ever stop! What? Five minutes to live, you want me to behave? Oh, that's gorgeous. That's a good look. This better work. Trust me, I'm an improviser. You said we weren't allowed to use that again. It's just a mind probe. Remember what happened last time you used it? That was different. That species has extremely high blood pressure. All right, their heads must explode all the time. Jack, you can't do this. What if you're wrong? If she is human, it'll kill her. I'm not wrong. We have to find out what she is. Take it easy, Jack. Stop at the first sign of trouble. Or the first sign of exploding. <laughs> hey. No, I can't just hook something up. The entire telephone network is down. What about a mobile connection? The entire telephone network is down. Mobiles, landlines, tin cans with bits of string, everything, absolutely everything. No phones, phones all broken. Hello? Anyone there? No, because the phones aren't working. Let's all have sex. And I thought the end of the world couldn't get any worse. 24 years old. Sort of. Well, he's over 24, he's not. Depends how you work it out. All right, when was he born? 1894. If we understood how it worked, we could feed the world. We could release a single. Do I show off? Just a bit. If you can't handle that big boy, then you can stuff it! This is quite homoerotic. No, 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 no. You lock and hide in the back of the van. What is this? Scooby-Doo, absolutely no way is he getting involved. Oh, where was I when you decided to get involved? Did you give me a second thought? The joy of domestic. Reese is right. After we've stung gunned the workers, we put the creature out of its misery. No. We're gonna save it. Stabilize it, wait for the rift to open, and... Send it back. Guess we'll have to look after it in the meantime. Tell me exactly how we're we going to use it to arm ourselves against the future. I could always hide behind it. You've got some well weird kit. What's this? Be careful, it's an alien artifact. Yeah, there's a lot of argument about this. But for my mind, it's got to be a surgical instrument. Really? Uh, he's guessing. Typical medic. Mm. Okay, right. Well, I call it a singularity scalpel. We'll see. What it does is it concentrates energy on a tiny fixed point without damaging anything on the way. It's brilliant. That's amazing. Yeah, do you remember the last time you did that, Owen? Um... Yes, yes. Right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to vaporise this paper without even scorching the cup. This is going to end in tears. OK. Right, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're at 30 seconds of counting. Oh, no, Jesus, really? Okay, team, say your goodbyes. Oh, when? I'll go in, no offense, but I've only got two minutes to live. Tash! I'm gonna miss you. Owen, I need the code for the alien morgue. You're the only one who knows it. You won't need that for that. For that! I'm sorry! I'm really gonna need that handbag. Owen? Two minutes, twenty. Look, I'm not using the glove! But I'm still here. Oh, here we go again. <sighs> I wasn't meant to die, so I'm, I'm being kept alive. Uh, somebody pass me my pants, please. Whoa! Uh, it's okay. I hate to say it, but you'll get used to it. No heartbeat. There's no pulse. Owen, I mean, you can't lead the investigation. Why not? Because you're the subject of it and because you're dead. Are you sure about that? You stopped flirting with me. I mean, it's all right. I wouldn't float with me in my condition either, but, uh... Is it still necrophilia if I'm conscious? OK, I'm dead. But I am 100% human. I'm fine. You've sliced your hand open. Chill. Jack, I'm dead. I'm permanently chilled. He's got a point. 
What is it with you? Ever since Owen died, all you ever do is agree with him. I was brought up never to speak ill of the dead, even if they still do most of the talking for themselves. <laughs> 